Hi, I'm Liz Fuller. I'm the new boss at Miss Great Britain and a previous winner from 1997. And for the last 13 years, I've been working as a TV presenter and producer at ITV and Channel 5. Today, though, I'm going to be giving you advice on the beauty pageant world. So you want to win Miss Great Britain. OK, let's look at it from day one. You want to enter. So have a look at the rules and regulations on the website. Make sure you tick all the boxes. Then you want to turn up at one of the regional heats. Now, sometimes Miss Great Britain operates them in-house. Sometimes they're franchise owned. So take a little bit of time to work out who owns the business, who owns that heat, when is it going to be run. Make sure you're never late. Make sure you turn up with everything that's written in that piece of paper when you need to arrive. Um, Make sure you do your homework on the judges as well. Know who they are. Know how you're being judged. Very important. The amount of times I've met girls that have turned up for a pageant and haven't got a clue what's expected of them. For instance, if you want to win Miss Great Britain and we were judging you on who's got the best toes or feet, you'd spend the day before probably having a pedicure, right? So if you want to win Miss Great Britain, obviously it's not about your feet, that's just an analogy. But if you want to win Miss Great Britain, work out, read in between the lines, every piece of paper you get. When you get to your regional heat and you're competing, make sure you're warm, you're natural, you're engaging, you're fun, and, and also have that air of professionalism. Make sure you also don't hassle the organizer because obviously they've got a lot to deal with with the event, making sure it runs smoothly. If you stand on stage and you're smiling and you are genuine in your, 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 yourself, then the chances are you may win. If you win and then you're coming to the national level, it is a different ball game because there at Miss Great Britain finals, there'll be 60 amazing girls that have all won their regional heats. To impress at the national final is very different. There are always different categories. So you could win Miss Swimsuit, you could win um, the Miss Personality, the Miss Popularity. So again, make sure you read the literature and try and give yourself the best head start from winning things like Miss Popularity or, or Miss Pop, um, Miss Publicity, which is the other one. So read the literature because a lot of girls will turn up to the final and they won't do that. Also make sure you go through the checklist. You have the right clothes for the right scene. So at Miss Great Britain, we give you some of the outfits, but say for instance, the Union Jack scene, you know that's your talent round. So make sure you ask anybody you can. Some girls, yes, they may come from a wealthy background. They'll, they'll maybe employ a fashion designer, but you don't have to. Sometimes you may be able to make something that's so inspiring in that round yourself. So look at every single round, take time to consider what you need. Turn up at our final with the right swimsuit that suits you, the right evening dress. When you're asked to bring the white dress, you bring a white dress and you look good in it. Um, make sure you just have everything that's on that checklist because so many girls will turn up that don't, haven't read it, don't really know what's expected of them. So when you are on the stage and you want to win Miss Great Britain, you need to smile, be natural, be yourself, and do not get involved in the politics behind the scenes. Do not get involved in other girls that want to be bitchy because they will. Do not start talking about other girls. Don't even, because I think this is natural in a competition, don't even put yourself in that place where other girls will say, what pageants have you done before? Have you ever done a national pageant? You know, because they're trying to psych you out. So don't get involved in any of that. You concentrate on yourself, you visualize winning, you think about wearing that crown on your head and you make sure that you give yourself the best opportunity to stand out in front of the judges, you believe in yourself and you have the confidence to win. And if you are destined to be the right winner, you will win. So good luck.